Hey guys, Alex here from Apple Dollars. Today, we're going to be talking about uh, the little guy down here, um, the, uh, uh, the circle, the crossed out circle for your program. You click on the program, it says you either need to uh, upgrade to a version uh, that's the latest, or perhaps there's some other error that it gives you. And uh, I just want to discuss uh, this and uh, teach you how to, you can still launch this program. It's not a, you know, it's not an issue. This is just a safety precaution uh, the GUI has <clears throat> with, you know, Apple, uh, the way that they design it just to prevent you from having older software. So you, this can happen on older Mac OS, uh, like on uh, OS X's even, uh, not just Mac OS's. So um, when this happens, it's very easy uh, to fix. So basically, you'll just, uh, you can um, click the finder, okay, and then just locate the uh, applications folder over here. There are several ways to get to it. But uh, basically, um, like in Windows, um, when you install an application, you know, its registry gets spread out amongst millions of different places. Well, things work a little different with Mac. Basically, each one of these icons that you see as like a shortcut, they are not shortcuts. They are actual full programs. Even though they have one icon, uh, like Final Cut here, right? If you right click on it or control, hold control and click on it, uh, you can see some options here. One of the first options is show package content, okay? Uh, so the operating system is referring to this icon as a package, okay, not, not just an icon. This is a package. So if you click on that, inside of it, there's a subset of many folders, okay? Um, so basically the entire program is, you know, inside of a folder and all the folders and pieces of the program, and art and code and uh, different things that make it run are all inside of subfolders that are nested within all of that, within that icon, okay? So our goal with any program that we wanna run uh, is to find, to get inside of the content and find the executable uh, portion, the executable code, and it'll be uh, like a black square with EXE written on it. Uh, and then we can execute that code and it should launch the program manually. So, you know, if you, I already know exactly where it's at, it's under Mac OS right here, uh, and you can see it, it's right there, okay? Uh, if I open this up, this will launch, this is what terminal <clears throat> uh, icons look like. So if I launch this, it'll open up a terminal and execute the program manually through a terminal shell, okay? And this is what we wanna do. So uh, let me just show you how this works. If I click it, it starts writing a bunch of stuff and it began ex executing the program uh, manually, and it basically shows me in the terminal everything that it's gonna do now, from now on, right? So you can see the program's running just fine, okay? I'm just gonna dock it down, okay? And you can see, uh, I can dock both of these down. Um, the program is running, you know? Uh, I can do all the editing, I can do it just, you know, just as if, uh, you know, I'm working on it right now. Okay, so um, let me go ahead and close this now and uh, close this code, okay? And if you, for some reason, are stuck, you can't upgrade to the newest version, you have, you're kind of forced to be in the situation, what you can do is you can grab this little file, okay, and you can just drag it down to the dock, okay? You should be able to, uh, hmm, I guess, you can put it here okay uh, and then you could just execute it from here every time you need it okay I'm just I executed it just for the sake of the video and I'm just going to terminate it now okay <clears throat> so there you have it you can launch the program uh, from there and this is for with Final Cut obviously a pretty big slow program but uh, you can do this for Photoshop, for any other program that you get grayed out. I know sometimes um, iPhotos will do it too, and uh, many others. So that's your workaround right there. You 
Uh, you open up the, there's several ways to get to the applications folder. You get to the applications folder, you find the program, you find, you know, that the one that's grayed out, you right click on it, okay, you go to show package content, go inside the Mac OS, or perhaps some other folder, if you just look around here, you'll find it, it will be an executable just like this, okay. You execute the executable, and then it will, you see it's jumping up and down, it will launch the app. All right, so I hope this helped with your uh, issue. Um, please hit like and subscribe if this did help with your issue. I appreciate it. It, it helps keep the channel free. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.